All right, guys, I had a couple of y'all this week that messaged me. I did a video this week about fishing the thermocline. It's a very common thing in, in the summertime. And several of y'all asked me about the thermocline, like how to find the thermocline. Well, let me make a couple of things a little bit clearer on this, and I should have put this in my first video. Number one is a body of water will not always have a thermocline. This is something that normally happens in early to midsummer and goes throughout the fall. Very common to not have a thermocline in the winter months um, or in the, even in the spring. But to locate the depth of the thermocline, what you need to do, now I'm on a pretty shallow lake. So 12 foot of water in this lake is actually fairly deep. But what you need to do is on your sonar, go into your menu screen, go to your game. And if I, you can see right here, if I turn this gain down, how that instantly goes away. So if your gain is set real low on your units, you're not going to know that there's a thermocline on your lake. But if you'll run your gain up, it'll start to show up. So you can see right here where, it, where it's really a hard thermocline is at about nine foot. And it's, it's kind of, it's starting to build and starting to get shallower as the water's getting hotter. But right there where that real hard line is, right around nine foot, that's your real hard thermocline. Now, if you go out in the middle of the lake and you turn your gain up and this does not happen, it just maintains a clean screen, there's probably not a thermocline in your lake. But I have seen times where on big, big reservoirs, you might have a thermocline on the upper end of the lake and not on the lower. Uh, this is an oxygen deal. Y'all can do some research on what a thermocline is, but it's it's not something that always exists, and it's also something that you've got to get out in some of the deeper water of the reservoir or whatever body of water you're fishing. Another thing is, if you fish a body of water with a lot of current, odds are this will never happen. Um, it's very uncommon to see a hard thermocline in, in a body of water with a lot of current, like say a river system or something like that. But if you are curious about the thermocline, if there's a thermocline on, your, on the lake you're fishing, this is all you need to do is just turn your gain up. You can see the higher you go on your gain, it'll start to paint that thermocline. There it is right there, right around eight to nine foot is the hard thermocline. So if I'm fishing this body of water today, I'm not going to spend any time really fishing below nine foot deep. I feel like the largest percentage of fish in this lake are gonna be from nine foot up. That's how you locate your thermocline.